Pentagon just made an announcement that could change air warfare forever. Boeing's F-47 Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter, America's first true sixth generation stealth jet, might take to the skies years ahead of schedule. We're talking about a weapon so advanced it makes the F-22 Raptor look like legacy hardware. And according to top Boeing insiders, you'll be shocked by how soon it flies. But here's what the headlines won't tell you. Experimental versions have already been secretly flying for five years. China thought they had the lead in sixth generation fighters. They were wrong. This is Jet Vision, where technology meets courage. And tonight, we're unlocking the story of how America quietly built the fighter that changes everything. If you're proud of American air power, drop a U-S-A-L-U-T-E in the comments. Now let's dive in. March 21st, 2025, a date already written into aviation history. Inside the Oval Office, President Trump stands beside Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth and Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin. The announcement sends shockwaves across every defense network in the world. Greater than, after a rigorous and thorough competition, the Air Force will be awarding the contract for the next generation air dominance platform to Boeing. Over $20 billion, the largest fighter development contract in a generation. But what came next, nobody expected. Boeing executives now confirm that the F-47 will fly sooner than anyone imagined. Colin Miller, the head of Boeing Phantom Works, hinted that people will be surprised by how fast you see it flying. This isn't marketing, it's a message to America's adversaries that the race for sixth generation supremacy is already over. So what makes this fighter different? The F-47 isn't an upgrade of old systems, it's a complete rewrite of air combat itself. Think about what the F-22 did for stealth in the 1990s. Now double that leap. This jet is built for an era of autonomous warfare, intelligent weapons, and battles fought across entire data networks. It's not just a fighter, it's the command center of the future sky. Before we continue, hit like and subscribe, because over 98% of you watch without joining the squad. Let's change that today. Here's the secret that stunned even industry veterans. While the world just learned of the F-47 in 2025, Boeing and Lockheed had been flying experimental prototypes since 2019. Full-scale demonstrators, hundreds of logged flight hours, real aircraft, proving technologies most nations haven't even dreamed of. General Alvin himself confirmed it. These X-planes have been quietly laying the foundation for the F-47 for half a decade. That's why the program is moving faster than any in history. The F-35 took nearly 20 years from concept to combat. The F-47, barely half that time, because it's already been flying in secret skies. Now let's talk about what it can do. The F-47 has a combat radius of over 1,000 nautical miles, nearly double the reach of today's jets. It can super cruise beyond Mach 2 without afterburners, and it won't fly alone. It commands an entire squadron of drone wingmen, the collaborative combat aircraft, autonomous partners that scout, jam, and strike on command. Imagine one pilot directing a digital army in the sky. That's the new face of air combat. And stealth, it's on another level. Trump described it as virtually unseeable. This isn't just radar stealth, it's cross-spectrum invisibility, thermal, electronic, acoustic, all suppressed a sixth generation ghost designed to survive in the most contested airspace on Earth. Why the rush? Because time matters. China has been racing to field its own sixth generation prototypes. They've poured billions into programs meant to challenge American dominance. But with Boeing's acceleration, those efforts are already obsolete. When Colin Miller says you'll see it fly sooner than you think, it's not hype, it's deterrence. A clear message that America won't just keep pace, we'll lead. The Air Force's initial buy, 185 aircraft, life cycle costs in the hundreds of billions, but the payoff, absolute air dominance for half a century. Under the hood lies the heart of the revolution, the adaptive cycle engine. It can literally change configuration mid-flight. Need fuel efficiency? It adapts. Need raw thrust? It adapts again. These engines are the first step toward limitless range and power. Then comes the brain. A E-driven avionics fuse radar, infrared, electronic warfare, and satellite data into one live, seamless picture. 
The pilot isn't flying, they're commanding an ecosystem. And unlike rival concepts, the F-47 still carries a cannon. Because real pilots know, sometimes the fight comes close. And when it does, the F-47 will own that arena too. Inside Boeing's St. Louis facility, transformation is happening at light speed. Billions invested, thousands hired, veterans, engineers, machinists, all working around the clock to build the fighter that secures America's future. Colin Miller, once a lead designer at Northrop Grumman, knows exactly how to run a black program efficiently. He's applied every lesson learned from past stealth projects, and it's paying off. Boeing's Phantom Works has never moved this fast. General Alvin confirmed it. Unprecedented maturity at this stage. This isn't a paper project, it's a real aircraft. Built, tested, ready. This moment also reshapes the defense industry. For the first time in decades, Lockheed Martin doesn't own America's stealth future. Boeing does. That means competition, innovation, and progress on a scale we haven't seen since the Cold War. China and Russia are watching, but they're watching a ghost. Their sixth gen dreams just hit a wall called the F-47, and the impact goes far beyond the military. Thousands of new American jobs, hundreds of suppliers across dozens of states, advanced materials, AI software, digital manufacturing, all spun off into industries that shape our economy. Every rivet tightened in St. Louis strengthens our industrial base. Every engine test echoes a promise. America builds the future. For veterans and service members, this program represents more than hardware. It's reassurance that the next generation of pilots will fly with unmatched capability, that our air crews will never face a fair fight, that freedom still flies with American wings. The F-47 isn't just a jet, it's a symbol. Proof that when America commits to innovation, we do the impossible quietly, then reveal it when it's already unstoppable. Looking forward, the F-47 will anchor an entire family of systems, manned and unmanned, networked and autonomous. General Atomics and Andril are already developing the loyal wingman drones that will fly beside it, each one linked through a combat cloud that turns the sky itself into a living battlefield. Training is already underway, new simulators, AI-assisted mission software. By the time the first F-47 takes off in 2028, pilots will already be virtual veterans of thousands of simulated missions. The economic ripple is enormous, billions in contracts, thousands of careers and entire states revitalized through aerospace manufacturing. It's not just a defense project. It's an innovation engine driving American progress. And the best part, the whole world thought we were behind. Now the whole world is realizing we were simply ahead in silence. The Boeing F-47 NGAD embodies everything that defines American power, creativity, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of superiority. Colin Miller's words aren't a prediction, they're a warning. You'll be surprised how fast you see it flying. The secret flights, the rapid production, the precision engineering, all point to one truth. America's skies will remain ours. The F-47 will secure the dominance for decades, ensuring peace through unmatched strength. It's more than innovation, it's legacy. So when that first gray silhouette rises over the Missouri horizon, remember, the future was built long before we saw it, and it's flying under the name F-47. If you're proud of American innovation and what it stands for, drop a salute in the comments below. This is Jet Vision, where courage meets technology. Stay proud, stay vigilant, and remember, true power doesn't boast, it simply flies. Long before the Pentagon's announcement, hangars deep in the desert were alive at midnight. Engines whispered, data streamed, test pilots spoke in coded language. Those secret flights weren't legends. They were rehearsals for today's reality. Each flight logged a thousand lessons that shaped the jet the world wasn't supposed to know existed. Inside Boeing's Phantom Works, engineers operated like a covert startup hidden inside a giant. Digital twins replaced blueprints. Holographic mock-ups floated above conference tables. Problems that once took months now vanished in hours. This wasn't just engineering, it was alchemy, turning math and metal into stealth and power. The F-47's brain is written in millions of lines of self-correcting code. AI co-pilots run simulations mid-flight rewriting algorithms as they learn. 
It's not just a machine that obeys orders. It's a partner that anticipates them. Every mission it flies makes the next one smarter. Pilots stepping into the F-47 won't train in classrooms. They'll train inside a digital war. AI adversaries mimic Chinese and Russian tactics in hyper-real simulators that never repeat the same battle twice. By the time a pilot touches the real jet, they've already fought hundreds of virtual wars and won. The first five F-47s will form what insiders call the Shadow Fleet. Unmarked tails, classified flight paths. Their job isn't to show off, they're built to test, to provoke, and to disappear. When they deploy, the message will be simple. America's invisible fleet has arrived. At the heart of each F-47 lies the adaptive cycle engine, one of the most complex machines ever built. It breathes differently depending on altitude, heat, and threat. It can sprint like a drag racer or cruise like a glider, all without breaking stealth. Every revolution of that turbine is a reminder. Perfection makes no noise. Every flight connects to a command web linking satellites, AWACS, and cyber operations centers. Commanders can reroute missions in seconds, updating threat maps across the globe. The F-47 doesn't just fight, it thinks as part of an AI-driven battle brain spanning continents. Beyond the hangars, the F-47 has become an industrial catalyst. Factories from Wichita to Huntsville hum again. Suppliers build alloys so light and strong, they'll redefine commercial aviation next. This fighter isn't only defending the nation, it's reforging it. Allies are quietly signing on to join the network. Encrypted data links will allow Japan, Australia, and Britain to share radar tracks with F-47 squadrons in real time. The next time aggression rises in the Pacific, the sky will answer as one voice, unseen, unstoppable. North of Edwards, south of China Lake, the desert hides more than sand. Behind berms and buried fiber, Rapid Fab composite lines are printing parts that don't exist on any budget sheet. These aren't hangars. They're portals into a future that hasn't been declared yet. Every control surface on the jet is fed by quantum-grade sensor fusion. There is no lag. There is no latency. It doesn't react. It pre-reacts. It moves before the threat even knows it has chosen to move. Inside the cockpit, there is someone else. Not a human. Not a script. A constantly learning adversarial model trained not to win nicely, but to win absolutely. Forward-based doctrine flips upside down. Mobile stealth shelters, pop-up fuel farms, launch, strike, vanish before an enemy can triangulate the origin. When it appears, it won't be on cable news. The first time the world knows it's real is the second they realize their radar didn't see it at all. It doesn't broadcast, it absorbs, harvesting every enemy emission and turning it into advantage. It evolves itself. Weapons libraries update mid-mission like living firmware. Only a handful of pilots will ever fly it, and their names will never be public. These aren't aviators. They're guardians of a capability that must never be normalized. The nuclear triad was the shield of the 20th century. This network becomes the shock grid of the 21st space, AI, stealth fused into one strike ecosystem everywhere and nowhere at once. Decades from now, analysts will argue about the moment air combat truly evolved. First flight, first deployment, or the moment those turbines spooled in a black hangar and air dominance became algorithmic. Old maps show borders. This system shows intent, painting the globe in probabilities, seeing ambushes before adversaries even imagine them. Traditional jets fight what they can see, this one fights what hasn't happened yet. Predictive targeting doesn't read the present, it writes the future. Carrier groups once required hulls and steel. Now one man jet with 10 autonomous wingmen is a navy in the sky, a fleet where metal is cheap, but intelligence is priceless. It doesn't just avoid radar, it can broadcast false signatures, a flock of birds or nothing at all. Its skin isn't just composite, it's reactive. Micro fractures close, thermal stress dissipates. The jet doesn't age, it adapts. Old squadrons received orders, this one receives outcomes. The AI determines the how and finds the least risk with the greatest certainty. There's no card to pull, no tape to review. The system has already uploaded
analyzed, cross-checked, and archived before the wheels stop. Debriefs become unnecessary. One cockpit, one brain, 10 wingmen, hundreds of vectors, not a fighter, a distributed command post with a canopy. The Cold War promised retaliation. This promises invisibility. You can't deter what you can't detect, and you can't respond to what you never knew was there. History is written by the side that survives the first minute. This was engineered so one side owns the first minute, because dominance isn't about winning the fight. It's about deciding whether the fight even begins. When the first operational F-47 lifts off in 2028, there won't be fireworks. Just a gray jet slicing the morning horizon, silent, deliberate, alive. Every sensor, every algorithm, every dream of superiority rising with it. That moment will mark the dawn of a new era and the end of every rival's illusion of control. Drop a salute in the comments if you believe America's edge isn't fading. It's accelerating. Because this is jet vision, where power speaks in silence and the future is already airborne.